Hi, let's show how to connect a Mitsubishi FX3U PLC to the Tris Mode SCAD HMI software via IEC 60-875-104th telecontrol protocol. Uh, there is a program inside the PLC implementing IEC 104th software features. IP address of the controller is this one, using port this one. And general protocol options are this, this and this one. The following table lists the input, output signals from the PLC, read-write command codes, IDT and addresses IOA. Analog input Analog output Digital input and digital output uh, We will use the Tris Mode Profiler's built-in driver to read and write data without making HMI. Uh, let's launch uh, the Tris Mode development system. Note uh, that this project can be done both in the professional and in the free basic edition of development system. Using the icon located at the left upper corner, we create a new project in standard style. Let's start our project development from the layer system, where we create a new node RTM. Then let's continue project in the layer sources receivers where we create group user driver. In this group we create a new subgroup type 12 and create a new component universal PLC type 3. Let's rename the created component to the link. It will communicate with the PLC. Open it for editing and change the only variable parameter number 2 address of PLC, address of server. In our case it equal 2. Next, in the field extra let's type the next string. OK. Protocol type IP address of PLC using port Protocol parameters Now let's create four components for reading and writing PLC signals using the Byte and Play technology Four Rename the first of the newly created components to the AI analog input and edit the line in the field extra. Press Enter. Next, AO analog output. Let's change direction to output and edit extra line. Press enter. The next component DI digital input input data type integer extra press enter. And the last component, DO, digital output, direction, output, data type, integer, in the string extra, let's type, press enter. After that, we drag and drop group type 12 from layer sources receivers to the RTM node in project 3. 
Now we should save our project on the disk with the name mm -hmm. uh, Then using this icon we save project for real-time monitor. It's necessary to do it in order to run our project in the real-time mode under trace mode runtime software. Real-time monitor. Let's run the profiler from the development system. Let's select main menu item view and choose Components view. Open all trace mode channels and estimate the signals AI and DI from PLC. AI and lock input. We can non zero value turn the limp we will change value on this analog input increase and decrease ok the middle state after that let's change the state of digital input. <laughs> Look. Result. Turn off the first digital input. Look result. OK. Now let's change the state of digital output by sending one to the input value of this channel. Look result here. Okay. Turn off by sending zero. Look result. OK. And finally, analog output. Let's send values from 0 up to 32 thousandths. Middle value. Look result on the scale. Maximal value and zero. Well, we have successfully connected to the PLC via IC sixty eight hundred seventy five one hundred four protocol. In this film, we did not make any HMI. Please see other three small didactic video about HMI development. We also draw your attention to the fact that RTM can be also used as IC 104th server. Thanks for your attention and bye.